Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the SAMP plugin for Glue. SAMP stands for Simple Application Messaging Protocol and is a way for applications in astronomy to communicate. So to demonstrate this, I've opened up Glue and uh, I've loaded up two datasets, one which is an image dataset and the other one which is a catalog. Uh, both of these are for the same star formation region. Now by default, Glue doesn't receive or send SAMP messages but the plugin we've built allows us to enable that. So we go to Plugins and select Open SAMP Plugin. This opens up a small window which has options to start and stop SAMP. So by clicking on Start SAMP, we start a SAMP hub inside Glue and also create a client for Glue which connects to the hub. The hub is basically the server that centralizes all the messages from different applications. Uh, and then the Glue client for SAMP uh, deals with specifically messages between Glue and the SAMP server. Now SAMP isn't very interesting if we have just one application, so we're going to open up a couple of other applications. The first is called DS9, uh, which is an astronomy application to view FITS files. Uh, and the other one is called TopCat, which is an application to view tables of data. I'm going to put it over here. TopCat has a nice feature which allows us to see the status of SAMP. And so in this window here, we can see that there's an AstroPy SAMP hub. This is the actual hub running inside Glue. And then Glue, DS9, and TopCat are connected to that hub. So let's start by taking one of the data sets in Glue and sending it over SAMP to one of the other applications. By turning on the plugin, we've now made it so that when you control click on the data set, there's a SAMP menu here. Uh, which allows you to select which application to set, send the data to. So let's send this image to DS9. You can see the image opens up in DS9. We can do the same for the catalog. We can send the catalog over to TopCat. And now we see the catalog has loaded up here into TopCat. Now this goes both ways. Of course, we can send data from Glue to other applications, but we can also send data back to Glue. So let's get rid of the catalog here. Uh, and then we can go to the top cat and select this table and then send table to GlueViz. And Glue is now listening for send messages and loads up the catalog. So let's take a look at how we can make selections in the table uh, and have those be communicated between TopCat and Glue. So I'm going to close DS9 for now and then make a 2D scatter plot of the catalog. So let's make a color, color diagram and then make a selection in glue which includes some of the reddest objects. And we now want to send this over to TopCat. So TopCat has a feature which allows you to see which subsets are, exist in the table. So by default, there's just a single subset, which is all the points. So let's go to glue. And now we can navigate here to the subset for the catalog. Go to SAMP and send to TopCat. And you can see that the subset has now appeared here. So let's make a plot in TopCat. showing the position of all the objects on the sky. I'm going to select the right ascension and declination columns uh, to indicate which ones to use to plot the position. By default, uh, TopCat uses red for the, all the points, but we can change this to gray to match what's in glue. And we can then turn on the glue subset and make it the same color as Glue. Again, this can go both ways, so we can actually make a selection in TopCat and send it back to Glue. Now, before I do that, it's important to know that when you send a subset from an application over SAMP to Glue, uh, it matters whether you have a subset selected or not. So if you have a subset selected, then the subset will be updated, and if you deselect the subset, a new one will be created. 
So let's go to Topcat here and select this cluster of sources here. So I can now click on this button to confirm the subset. I'll call this subcluster and then I'm going to create the subset and you can see the points have now appeared in green. We need to explicitly send this over to Glue. So I'm going to open up the window that deals with subsets, select the cluster subset, and then send the subset over to Glue. And the subset appears in Glue. Finally, one last thing we can do is to synchronize uh, rows that are selected in Topcat and in Glue. SAMP has a a way of communicating subsets which is separate from how it communicates rows being selected in a table. So for example if I open this, ta this table here and actually view it as a table, let's get rid of the plot, I can now select rows in here. By default this doesn't do anything but we can make Topcat transmit information about the selected row to glue. Similarly, we have to, on the glue side, turn on an option to treat row highlighting as a selection. Let's remove the uh, green subset and just select the red subset. Uh, and now I can select different rows in here and see where they appear in the plot. So let's make the subset a slightly larger in here. And you can see that as I select, those points are propagated to the plot over here. Please let us know if you have any feedback on the SAMP plugin for Glue, and see the description of the video for more information on how to install the plugin.